But there's a giant whitetail buck bedded right there. Less than 50 yards away from us. We got a level 7 gator out there at about 420 yards. He's pretty broadside and we're going to go for the shot with the AR-308 here. It's going to be kind of difficult because 400 plus, we're going to have to hold a good bit high. And I'm actually going to have to crouch down somewhere because that is a long ways. All right, there's his eye. We're going to try and hold it right behind the eye and maybe a good six inches above his spine. Holy, that's a long ways. Well, he's hit, but definitely not good enough. Ooh, there we go. There's a beautiful whitetail buck. 300 yards out right there, perfectly broadside. We can definitely sneak one right in there and go for the shot. What a nice rack on that buck. All right, here we go, 300 yards. A zero for 300, hole for the heart. And some smoking. He's down right there. First beautiful whitetail is down. And yeah, we actually haven't been to this spot in a good while because typically all I've been seeing are little bucks. And so for me, it hasn't been worth it to come back to this location. But I decided to come here today and try and find some gators along the way. And well, that's when we found that nice buck. No way. Dude, you guys, are you seeing this right now? Are you seeing this right now? We got him. We got that gator at almost 420 yards. Holy, I looked back and I thought, you know what? Maybe that gator might pop his head back up. And all of a sudden I look and I see something flowing all the way across this lake here. And that is our big old level seven gator that we took at about 415 yards. So our first shot must have been absolutely money. I mean, I felt super confident about that shot. I really, really did. And that's all we had was that one shot. I held it right behind the eye and about six inches above the back. And so, yeah, it should have been perfect. But I didn't see the percentage drop. So I thought, well, I guess we didn't quite make a, as good of a shot as I thought. And now, as you can see, we've been proven wrong. <laughs> we've definitely been proven wrong. Wow, what a sweet way to start off this hunt. I mean, we took a shot at the gator. I wasn't sure if we got him, so that was kind of disappointing. And then we came around this point here, and there was a beautiful whitetail buck, which we absolutely smoked at 300. Turned back around to hopefully find the gator, and sure enough, he's floating back in right to us. All right, guys, here comes our gator coming in finally right to us. Here we go. Here we go. Let's pick him up. What a heck of a shot, 411.33 gold. We pulled off, dude, a 444 yard perfect left lung shot. What an absolutely incredible shot placement on that really nice big 411 gold olive alligator. What a heck of a shot, quartering away at 443 yards on that gator. Wow. There they go, there they go, there they go. Holy, let's bust out our red dot, baby. Oh, light them up. Woo. All right, switch rifles, switch rifles. Come on, switch, 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 switch. Switch back, switch back. Well, we're gonna smoke that one. And the rest of them should be coming through here. There we go. He's hit. He's hit. She's hit. She's smoked, actually. And she is smoked as well. Whew! Just dropping them. One more left. 25%. That one is actually not going to go too far. And we're empty. One last shot and we're empty.
All right, here we go, guys. Let's go over and go pick up what we got. I think we ended up getting about three hogs out of that. And then we have to go over to the other side and grab our nice whitetail buck as well. He looked to be like a 230, maybe 225 plus whitetail buck. I don't know. It was hard to tell. But he was definitely a good buck. All right, so we got one hog down here. Another one down there and another one down there. And then we got two more in the woods. Here's this one. 39. Double lung at 160. It's a female. Got one down here. This looks to be a boar. It is. 61.9. Liver stomach shot. At 160 yards out. And we got a few more in the woods over here. We dropped. Actually, I think we dropped two, didn't we? Right next to each other. Yeah, we should have. Yep, right here. Here they are. Drop two of them right here, side by side. There's one, another female. Ooh, that's actually, a, oh, did you see that? That was a heart shot, dude. That was a trotting heart shot at 180 yards out. Got a liver spine shot on that one as well. And I'm pretty sure we hit one more. Yep, we got blood right here. Decent blood, actually. I do, in fact, think that this one's gonna go down. And yep, it did go down, but we're also getting Growl that by another one over here as well. So let's see if we can't kick this one up real quick. And if it comes this way, we'll take a shot. Running spine neck shot at 190 yards out on that boar there. Another small boar. I just remembered. We got to go back and grab our big white tail buck. We're over here trying to get quail. Fox, 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 fox. What can I shoot it with? 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. I can't see him in the grass anymore. There he goes, there he goes. I can't see where he's going. Oh! Lucky fox. That is one lucky fox. Ooh, we got turkey calling. Right in front of us, we got a gobbler. We got the scope off, so if it jumps up, we should be sitting. He's hit! He's hit! Not very good, but he's definitely hit. 50%. Watch them, watch them. Boy, they go a long ways. He should be going down somewhere over there. And also our whitetail buck is over there too. So, here's our whitetail buck. Let's swing over here and pick him up. And along the way, we'll try and find that gobbler, I suppose. Beautiful white tail buck indeed, 217 perfect double lung shot at 307 yards. Uh, never did actually find that gobbler. Quite interesting. All right, there goes all the white tail. Any bucks over there? Yeah, there's a couple of bucks over there. Yeah, there's definitely a couple of bucks. <laughs> No way! We didn't just do that. Really? Just smoked him in the back of the neck at about 100 yards on the trot. <laughs> One shot with a 10 millimeter. Just dropped him right there. Wow. That was kind of epic. Perfect neck shot. 160 yards out. There we go. All right, so I want to go back over here and try and find that gobbler. Just because I don't remember how big it actually was. And not only that, I mean, it's a gobbler. We should just, we should find it, you know? All right, so there's all the white tail there. I'm pretty sure these might be tracks from red fox or gray fox. But then this is turkey. Nope, that's not turkey either. Um, We got to go back this way. 25% low. We just ran about 60 yards away from where we last saw blood and we found our turkey down right over here. I honestly didn't think we would find this thing, but here it is. And the best part is it wasn't even big enough to be a gold. Almost made an epic shot, just a little bit high and far back, 85 yards out. 
We just came around this next bend here, and we got a nice herd of whitetail out here. About 350 yards out, they're just feeding in the middle of this meadow here. And there's a solid whitetail buck there at about 380. Now, you can see that he's actually quartering directly at us, so we do not have a shot. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to play the wind, work our way around to the right side here, and come in somewhere over there. That way we have a better angle for a shot on that buck. There's also another buck there as well, but he's not quite as big. So we're going to hold off on him and try for the bigger of the two. The whitetail are on the back side of this brush roll right here. In fact, they should be feeding right over there. Yep, there they are. About 250 yards out. Like I said before, we're definitely in range. But it's just a matter of trying to get to a position where we can get a nice ethical broadside shot. And at this point here, we just don't quite have that yet. Also, the light is running out now, so we really don't have a ton of time to make this happen. Well, I think actually in this case here, since we don't have a ton of light left, we're going to try and put out some calls. We have a perfect wind, so it's really an awesome setup here. Now it's just a matter of if we can actually pull them off their feeding zone, or if they're going to be stubborn and stay there. But we should be able to get their attention. Oh, I see motion, I see motion. Got a tiny buck coming in here first. Right out in the front. Right there, right there. We got a doe coming right at us. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's our buck? Where is our buck, guys? This doe's way too close. She's gonna bust. There's nothing we can do about that. She's way too close. That's not him. That's not him. It's a decent buck, but that's not him. That is our buck. That's our buck. 130 yards out right there, guys. All right, let's just wait for him to slow down. Got him. He's going down. First shot was a little far back, but you know what? We got him. And he's down right there. Try for a doe on the back of the neck. Maybe not. Yep. The first shot was a little bit far back, but the follow-up was right on the money. And sometimes that's what happens. That's why you got a semi-automatic rifle. First shot doesn't always have to be perfect. As long as it's good enough, the follow-up better be absolutely money. All right, so our buck was right here. He trotted off this direction. We got blood going this way. Non-vital organ hit. Water at medium. That should be from our buck. Yep, there's our buck down right there. First shot was definitely intestine, and the second shot was golden. Let's pick this buck up. Oh, it wasn't. First shot was not good. Second shot was almost good, but we got intestine, and we couldn't quite pull off the greatest shot there, but we did get him, and I suppose that's what counts. Dang, I thought we for surely had a vital hit on that second shot. Here's our doe again, intestine. So yesterday I was leading him a little bit too much, or was that two days ago? I was hitting him right between the lung and the front shoulder. I was literally hitting right there. So now I'm not trying to lead as much and I'm hitting him too far back. All right, so we came up over this next ridge here and we spotted another herd of whitetail. Now I'm gonna show you on the map where we are in a second, but we're in kind of a really dense area. Like, there's no water anywhere near us. We're way the heck up here, working our way up on top of this ridge, and we spotted some whitetail feeding right here from 1430 until 1800. So, I only spotted one buck so far, but there definitely could be a good buck over there. We're going to see if we can't spot him. See, there's one deer right... Oh, there's a deer. That's the buck I spotted, but then there's two more right here. Look at this. One there, and one there. Now, we can't actually spot these other deer. One thing we could do is try and call. And honestly, I think that actually might be in our best bet. Tuck in somewhere where we have a little bit of cover and put out a couple of calls. Because they're only right there. Boy, that'd be a perfect shot, right? Oh, there's two bucks there. One there and one right behind him. 
All right, well, I think what we're going to do is put out a couple of calls here and see if we can't get their attention. All right, we definitely got some movement. And what do we got? There's a doe. Another doe, another doe. Where did the bucks go? You know, that actually might be the biggest buck in this herd here. Oh, that is the biggest buck. Okay, he's a 160 plus. So that's going to be the buck that we're going to go for. If he steps out and gives us a shot. That's him right there. There's a doe. And there's our buck. 90 yards out right there. Oh, he's facing us. Tough angle. Let's be patient. Wait for him to turn a little more. All right, come on. Uh oh, we might have to take the shot. Centered him. And did we drop him? We might have dropped him. Might have. I don't know. I know I centered him. He was quartering away. But. We dropped him, guys. Must have gotten a liver intestine shot or something. Because he's laying right there. Look at that. Side by side bucks here. Double lung and a 150 on that one. But this buck here is a solid buck. Ended up getting liver and a lung at 77 yards out. So got him in the back of the lung and liver. And that dropped him on the spot. 175.27. We got another gobbler out here at about 150. This time we're going to try and attempt a perfect headshot. Got him. I don't exactly know if we made a headshot. Or not, because it seemed like he moved a couple of steps and then went down. But I was holding right for the neck, so it should have been something. Something good. Whoa, bear, 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 bear. Where is it? There it is. It's a sow. We're switching back to the AR-308. Where'd it go? And the question is, did we pull off a headshot? No, we did not. We dropped low and to the right. Ended up getting left lung, but still, not a bad shot. There he goes, there he goes. You guys did not just see that. We just pulled off a running headshot at about 80 yards with the red dot 308. Oh, wow. I mean, heart shot is one thing, but a headshot. Are you kidding me? We got some quail calling over here as well. I thought we might swing by and maybe try and pop a couple of those, but... Yeah, they're not going to stick around for too long. All right, here's our bear that we headshot. Perfect, right in the back of the headshot. 77 yards on the run. I mean, we absolutely couldn't have centered that head any more perfectly. Look at that shot. Wow. There's a quail. That is not a quail. But it's something that we want. Uh, some kind of rabbit, about 180 yards out right there. Cottontail rabbit. Oh, he's moving. He's moving. That was a pretty sweet shot, but honestly, like, the most ridiculous reaction. There, quail, quail, quail. Got it. Drop low. All right, so here's our rabbit. Well, let's pick it up. 
190 yard intestine shot and it's gonna be a gold 1.67 gold rabbit down there we go that was pretty sweet actually i did not anticipate on it being a gold and there's our shot 201 yards on a female quail pulled off a perfect left lung shot and she's down well i honestly didn't think about this but yeah i feel like if we had night vision now it would definitely come in handy because we got whitetail here and i can't even see him can you where in the heck are they oh there they are Ooh, there's a good buck two good bucks actually about 100 yards out right there two good bucks oh we tried to turn and run away but we got a shot into him and that should be taking him down I believe we dropped the first buck all right I definitely want to try and figure out where we're at right now because this is quite the interesting location and if I could find where they're feeding over here that would be awesome all right we got tracks here The thing is, I went AF... Really? That didn't spook everything? Okay. I went AFK for a little while and came back and I heard some whitetail calling. Now, we were crouched, but we easily could have kicked them up somewhere nearby. And then... Oh, look at that. <laughs> I guess we dropped them both right on the spot wow that is not what i planned on happening but it's super awesome um unfortunately unfortunately i wasn't able to find where they're feeding at here i mean we could probably come back another time and check but yeah there's no zone anywhere nearby what we could do though is find that white tail buck that's calling over there and that should lead us to the spot but what are the odds of that two white tail bucks laying right here side by side all right let's pick this buck up first that's the one that we got as he tried to run away we got him in the back of the neck dude 197.21 gold what an epic shot on the run what a heck of a reaction shot and then we got this guy right here double long shoulder blade at 90 yards out 188 So there's the buck that we're looking for right there. Now we gotta wait for him to calm down and start feeding or something. It's 1830. They feed until 1800. So they definitely should be done feeding. I feel like at this point we probably found a rest zone. All right, I got tracks going this way, but no sign of any white tail yet. I bet they're probably down right around that point right there. Did I just see a rack? No, I thought I did. Oh my god, jackpot right there. Holy, not only jackpot, but there's a giant whitetail buck bedded right there. Less than 50 yards away from us. The wind is almost perfect. The wind is slowly shifting to the east over there. And if it shifts a little bit more, then we might be able to bust out our bow that is if in fact i have the right ammo for it which i do heck yes i mean the fact that we snuck up so close to this buck makes me think that we almost absolutely have to use the bow and try and get just a little bit closer there's a buck right there and there's a couple of does as well but we're roughly i don't even know how far we are probably like 80 yards out so yeah we're gonna be using the bow we got it in slot two locked and loaded now i haven't used this bow in so long 
that. I definitely want to crouch up. 23 yards. Oh, there he is. Oh my god, there he is right there. That's our buck. 50 yards out right there, guys. Oh my god. That's a shot. That's a shot. Where is he? That's him. He's hit! He's down! Perfect shot! Perfect shot! We smoked him! Oh my god, 50 yards in the dark, are you kidding me? First time back with a bow and arrow. And there he lays. Holy, what a heck of a shot. I held for the heart, because I know this thing shoots a little bit high. And it looks like we definitely made an incredible shot. There he lays. Ooh, look at that rack. Wow! There it is, guys. It's official. Our first time back with a bow and arrow and called the wild. And we pulled off a 51-yard perfect double lung liver shot on a 227 gold whitetail buck. What an absolute beautiful shot right there. Double lung liver and stomach. Quartering away at 50 yards. So I can now show you where we're hunting right now. We're on the very east end of the map here by Felton. Way over here. And we got these whitetail feeding over here. Or I guess you could call it resting because they were bedded. 1800 until 2100 at night. Alright guys. Well, that's going to pretty much wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.